So, you all know the scene near the beginning of Ghostbusters where Peter Venkman is conducting an ESP test. And I thought it would be fun to do an ESP test with you. But before we do that, let's just talk a little bit about how ESP cards started. So ESP cards were designed by Cole Zenner and his cards were used uh, in experiments by his colleague uh, J.B. Ryan. The cards are made up of five symbols, the circle, the square, the cross, the wavy lines and the star. Uh, which has always amused me because one of the uh, cards that the uh, girl guesses at the beginning of the Ghostbusters is a figure of eight, which uh, Venkman says is correct. Of course, that isn't even a card in the deck, so I've always found that quite amusing. So because they were designed by Cole Zenner, they're normally known as Zenner cards. There are 25 cards in a deck, five of each symbol. And the way they are designed to work is the uh, examiner will take a card, hold it in a way where it cannot be seen by the uh, person they're doing the experiment on, and they will try and guess what the card is. And of course, the more they got get right in theory, that is the more, uh, more ESP that they have. However, they were pretty much discredited as a good form of testing ESP ability because poor shuffling methods could make the order possibly easier to predict and of course you can mark them. John Sledek, who wrote a book called The New Apocrypha, if I've uh, pronounced that right, wrote It's astonishing that playing cards should have been chosen for ESP research at all. They are, after all, the instrument of stage magicians and second dealing gamblers. They can be marked and manipulated in many traditional ways. At the best of times, card shuffling is a poor way of getting a random distribution of symbols. So Ryan's experiments were basically discredited because of sensory leakage and cheating. And by sensory leakage, I mean being able to read the symbols from uh, you know, different marks or maybe just indentations on the back of the cards. Terence Hines, a professor of psychology, wrote, The methods the Rhines used to prevent subjects from gaining hints and clues as to the design of the cards were far from adequate. In many experiments, the cards were displayed face up, but hidden behind a small wooden shield. Several ways of obtaining information about the design of the card remain even in the presence of the shield. For instance, the subject may be able sometimes to see the design of the face up card reflected in the agent's glasses. Even if the agent isn't wearing glasses, it is possible to see the reflection in his cornea. Ryan took note of this and added extra precautions, and as soon as he'd done that, he couldn't find any more high scoring uh, subjects. The brilliant James Randi uh, actually tried testing a psychic uh, on one of his TV shows with 250 of these ESP cards and they only got 50 right, which might sound impressive at first, but 20% is about the average because um, you've in theory got a 1 in 5 chance of guessing the right card. And just before we conduct our own ESP test, I just want to show this off. This is uh, one of the things I bought. This is a Beckman pH meter, which is actually what they used for the shock box that Beckman uses at the beginning of uh, the film. So um, this is a Model G, the exact same model they used. And it's this switch here that's the switch that um, would shock the student. Um, obviously, they removed the lid, added some wires to make it look more technical. But anyway, let's start our ESP test. So, how are we going to do this ESP test? I'd like you to pause this for just a second, go and grab yourself a pen and some paper. And uh, once you're back, I'm going to hold up each card for about three seconds, and you're going to try and guess what it is. So, whether it's a star, cross, wavy line, or so on, then I'll turn it over. And if you guess that card correctly, give yourself a point. If you are wrong, give yourself no points. And then I would love for you to comment below with your results. Um, the average should be 5 out of 25, but of course there might be people that will get a couple more or a couple less. Um, but it'll be interesting to see what the results are. Now, of course, I do ask you not to cheat. So I know putting that you've got 25 out of 25 if you only got three. Um, of course, this is the internet, so uh, <laughs> we shall see what happens with that. But anyway, I'll give these a good shuffle and then we shall begin. So remember, you've got three seconds with each card.
And that is all 25 cards. So you'll have your results now. So like I said, comment below with those results. I'd love to see them. And maybe get your friends to watch a video as well and get them to see what their results are. It'd be really fun. Maybe you can compete against each other to see who's got the most ESP. But anyway, if you enjoyed the video, please like. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out all my Ghostbusters scene magic videos. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, I look forward to seeing you next time. Until then, keep on busting. Mm -hmm.